Gretzky once coached here as the Coyotes are set to take to the ice. Well, we've been waiting for this one all day long, and here we go. Put the chatter aside, the puck is dropped, here we go. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Arizona's gained possession along the boards. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Johns has it in the defensive end. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. And he takes the pass. Oh, and a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Oh, what a save on the play! Whoa! Oh, that's grand larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. Lots of time left in this period. The game is still scoreless. And that's exactly what you want to do when you're on the road. You want to set the tone early. You want to take the life out of the fans. Well, the name of the game is having the puck, isn't it? And it's pretty easy when it comes to you right away off of a face-off. He does a great job of winning this one. And then the rest is all taking it to the net. And a goal ensues. Taken by Scandella. Makes a move in front. Oh, big touch. James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out-battle and out-will his opponent to find the puck. Minnesota's come to play tonight. They have been busy on the offensive scoreboard. Briere's won the faceoff. Slides the puck across to Kachuk. consistent all season long. I mean, his team's in the winning column. His save percentage is up, and he's a real reason why they have a chance in every game. And he takes a shot, and that goes off a stick somewhere in traffic. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. Oh, here we go. This team knows how to turn it up another gear, and they've done that here. That's blocked. A huge defensive play. And it's taken by the defense. Kachuk's moving it ahead. Oh, that'll make his teammates take notice on the bench after that hit. He knew exactly what he was doing with that hit this early in the game. He's trying to send a message and dictate the pace. Makes the save with the glove. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. And now he moves it quickly to Chatfield. With possession along the wall. And that doesn't reach the net. The Coyotes have it now. Here they come. Runs them hard into the wall. Quick feed to Wenberg. Pushes it across to Kerfoot. Oh, what a violent collision there. He just got railroaded. Closed space so fast and just taken down. Minnesota's holding a noticeable edge in the shot department here in the first, and they lead as a result. And they win the draw on their own end. And he slides it quickly to champion. And he lowers the boom there. He knows he's only one goal away from his... Scores! The rookie's done it! Go shorty! It's 40! There's been no dips in, in the production, right, James? I mean, it's been unbelievable to see the consistency. He is elite. He didn't just sell this fake with his hands. He, he sold it with his eyes and his shoulders. Just an incredible display of skill here, James, to pull the goaltender one way and then slide it down low the other. More than half the period left to play. Minnesota's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. 
Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Minnesota's moving it into the offensive end. They put the puck into the offensive end. And there's a puck at the point. Oh, that's got to hurt. What a play. Takes the puck. And the puck clears the zone. They'll be forced to leave as well. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. The Coyotes have it from their own end. Right, Jay. Shot. Makes a save. Cool and calm under pressure. Minnesota's on the attack. Takes the feed. Dead eyes him on the play. Sometimes goaltenders just make it look easy, James. And look at how big he makes himself in the net as he's trying to track and find the puck at all costs. It almost looks easy for him, but that's an impressive save. He got all of that hit. He's got a step. And he makes the save. Grabbed along the board by Niskanen. Arizona's got the puck. Minnesota's got it along the wall. Stones him on the play. Here's a short pass to Hayden. And that's off a stick. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. Quick pass to Koivu. Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. He got all of that one. As a power forward in the game, you go north-south, and guess what? You deliver bone-crushing hits, just like that one. Great defensive effort with the stick. Angles it over to Soderstrom. And there's the save. Chris has got great rebound control and just pushes that out of harm's way. Scooped up along the wall by Stahl. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Pushes it across to Briere. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Slides it back to the blue line. Moves the puck. There's the whistle as the puck goes up and over the glass. Here in the later stages of this period, Minnesota's got a 2-0 lead. Arizona's gonna start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Check to slow him down. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Pass to Pominville. Here's a shot. Arizona's got control of it now from their own end. Centering pass. And he denies that great opportunity there. Jerseys, hats, keychains, you name it. Smartphone cases. They got you covered at the team store. Check them out online or you can visit it just outside the arena. Open seven days a week. They win the faceoff here in their own end and take possession. Slides it across to champion. Minnesota's got the puck against the half wall. Scores! They strike again and that's three unanswered goals. Over and over and over again, James. You can see the excitement on the bench. They know that they've deflated and they push their opponent back on their heels. They need to keep plugging away here and not get complacent. That's a beautiful finish, but I'm telling you, he's got to go over to his teammate and say thank you very much for that beautiful pass. I mean, it was placed perfectly on his stick. He didn't have much time to react, but he could collect it and he found a way to put it home. Minnesota's offense is shining bright tonight. Everything they put on net seems to find the back of it. And they lead it late in the first. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Quick pass across to Michael. Feeds the puck to Prosser. It's a contact sport, people. There's proof right there. Here's a chance. Makes the save. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Picked off. Puts the puck on net and makes the save.
zone ability, guys, and it's what makes them effective at distributing the puck. I'm excited to see these players compete and keep their team the edge. Now back to you. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Silverberg's been feeling it, James. You know who else is feeling it? His teammates. They have been the beneficiaries of a great leader on the ice who's just been distributing the puck and generating a ton of offense. Here's the change. Corner's got it. They'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Period number one in the books. First intermission entertainment is on deck here. You can also have time to go grab a drink, grab a hot dog, and we'll be back with period number two in moments. Well, the first 20 is in the books. Let's see what this second period offers. Well, let's see if there was any message sent in the dressing room here before the start of the second, because it was one-sided, to say the least, in the first. The Coyotes pick up steam and are on the attack. Fires it on net, and that goes off a player in front. Moves it to Jersey. Here he is, shot on the side. Minnesota's offense has come to play in a big way as they dominated both the shots and goal category. And off the draw, they win possession. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. Grabs it in his own end. And he slides it quickly to champion. Minnesota's through center and now in the offensive end. A chance! Oh! And they do it! Coaches will be preaching, listen, have no mercy. Continue the pound and continue the beating because they are on a roll. Well, he fought for position to find this puck on his backhand, James. He's running out of real estate, but he was able to put it through and find the netting. The Wild have shown no signs of letting up here in this second period, continuing to push forward. Well, the game plan has certainly been to pepper the net, whether you've gotten that front presence or not. Find the lane, get it through. That's been the mantra, and they've been rewarded for it. Works it across to Burns. Look out! There's someone stepping up with some physicality. I like this, James. You're almost out of the game, but you're finding a way to claw yourself back physically. And no better way to send a message than lay a huge one. That's a solid hit. Power forwards drive lanes and they drive bodies, and that one's perfectly executed. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Take it along the wall by Kachuk. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Joseph's gonna hang on for a whistle. Lots of time left in this period. Minnesota's turned this into a blowout, now leading by four. They win the draw and go on the attack. Great hits up play with the stick by Winberg. And he feeds it down to Michelli. Slick feed. Lays the body. Here's a shot. Oh, glove save and a beauty. Minnesota's dominated right from the start. Their offense clicking on all cylinders, and they lead here in the second. Stalls won it off the faceoff. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. On the attack along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Niederreiter. The Coyotes take possession in the defensive end. Arizona's moving it along the wing. Great hit on the play. Moves the puck along the half wall. Denies it! This is a great save by the goaltender, James, but you have to be aware of who is on the ice and what their tendencies are. You know when you have a lethal shooter that can one-time the puck like that, you got to be aware. Picks up the puck in his own end. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. 
Moves it quickly over to Niederreiter. Scores! And the road team is having themselves a party in this barn tonight, and I don't think anybody except them like it. No one likes it in this building, that's for sure. I mean, fans aren't leaving. They paid money for this ticket, and if you're on the ice, you just want to crawl out of there, but you can't. There's more game to play. This is a tough one, James. in the period. Minnesota's clipping on all cylinders tonight. They've added to the lead, and this is a total rout. Quick feed to Keller. Shot! Oh! Off the crossbar! What a chance on the play! Small spotty language. Break away! Makes the save! Oh, and this is a great save, James. The goaltender gets to the top of the streets, makes himself look huge, and is extremely aggressive to be able to make that stop. Minnesota's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time here in the second. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. From the slot, wrist shot. Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to sweat it away. Minnesota's done a nice job of generating pucks on net, and as a result, they lead here in the second. Michael's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. Picked up along the boards by Jones. And that goes wide. Sometimes there's pressure on players when they get into that prime time scoring area, and because of it, they rush the shot, and I think that happened right there. Past the midway mark in this period. Minnesota's put on a smothering offensive performance. They lead it 5 0. Denies him on the slapper. Feeds it down low. Plays the body. He says, let's get physical on that play. Oh, what a save. He stopped it. Wow. Oh, that's an intro. Oh, a tremendous save on the play. What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James. And the shooter is absolutely stunned. Hi, what a stop. Puck grab by Kachuk. Silverberg. Minnesota's got Ricky it across James, the line. Feeds it to Briere. Moves along the boards with some purpose. Oh, he's going to feel that the rest of the game. They are wearing down their opponents with hits like that. Niskanen's got it in the defensive end. Here's a short pass to Schmaltz. And it's a quick pass to Soderstrom. Drills them. Broken up by Niskanen. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Heatley's carrying it ahead. Back to the point they set it up. Minnesota's had the better scoring opportunities and lots of them, which is why they lead in a big way here in the second. And they win the faceoff and set up to go on the attack. And that goes off course off a of body. The Coyotes move to the offensive zone. Good stand up here on the play. Some momentum going their way now. Can they sustain it, though? It's going to be tough, James, unless they can string some shifts back to back together where they do create momentum and have possession in this game. You have to look for a race, be first to the puck, be relentless on it. That's what changes energy. Quick pass to Clutterbuck. And that slides right out to center ice. Clutterbuck stick handling in his own zone. Now a quick pass to Niederreiter. Oh, what a cut on the wall. And hey, that's a clean one, James. A great end. Shoulder to shoulder and just laid it on center. Oh. 
Minnesota's been dominating at all ends of the ice, especially offensively here late in the second. And they win the defensive zone faceoff. And he can't hang on after that hit. And the puck's not loose. Oh, and a great hits up play to burst the turnover by Turfoot. Burns moves the puck. Here they are on the attack. Denies them in close. And now he moves it quickly to Burns. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. The Coyotes gain control of the puck. Passes over to Chatfield. Kerfoot's got it along the wing. The Wild have the puck in their own zone. Pass across to Scandella. And he's able to handle that one. Covers it up and we'll get a stoppage in play. Minnesota's coaching staff must be impressed with what they're seeing from their players tonight. Lots of pucks on net, and they continue to lead late in the second. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Grabbed along the boards by Yandel. Moves it to Gunther. Minnesota's got possession here in the neutral zone. Throws it in. The Coyotes gain control of the puck against the wall. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Two periods down, one more to go. Both teams have time to get a refresh, and we'll be back for period number three. I'm fired up. I know you're fired up for this, too. Welcome back to EA Sports. The final frame looms here as the officials set to drop the puck on period number three. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. I know I stepped on your toes there, James, but had to react to that massive hit. That's a solid check on the play. Man, James, has he ever looked shaken up after that huge hit? I mean, I'm not sure if he got winded or if he's injured, but he's trying to make his way back to the bench. Here they come on the attack down the left side. The Wild have it in their own zone. Moves it quickly over to Michael. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh, gets a piece of it with the glove. Quick feed to champion. Oh, great play to use the wall handling the pass. Scoops up the puck now. From the point, looks to make something happen. Tries to feed it over to Briere. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Arizona's looking to break out. And he slides it quickly to Briere. The Wild have the puck in the neutral zone. A shot. Oh, what a great glove save on the play. Johns is on the receiving end of a huge hit. You got to keep your head up and be aware of where the traffic is. Otherwise, that's what happens. Minnesota's been a dominant force offensively. Plenty of quality scoring opportunities, and they lead it big time early in the third. Slides the pass over to Kachuk. Shot! Here's a shot! And there's a glove save on the play. Chris has made a nice stop there, and that can be difficult to do, James. I mean, sometimes you get cold or you get lulled into a game where you've been in the offensive zone most of the time. So it's often about timely saves that makes the difference. Minnesota's outplayed the opposition tonight, particularly offensively, as they lead it early in this third period. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Here we go, puck's in deep. The Coyotes move the puck in the defensive zone. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. And that was read perfectly. What a play by Kachuk. Gets it back. Some great thievery in the open ice. Here's a short pass to Burns. The Coyotes gain possession along the wall. Arizona's moving it up the ice. The Wild have the puck in the open ice. Koivu's taking it from his own end. The Coyotes get a hold of the puck along the boards. Poked away at center by Kane. Grabs control of it at the point. Kane 
Lang's made an incredible play right there. I mean, he's stumbling. He looks like he's going to fall almost, but he's off balance, and that's the key. The puck isn't exactly where he wants it, but he still manages to find a way to get a shot off. James, I'm not sure whether making yourself big is the right thing or just trying to have a flashy glove save like he just did there. Can't find the puck. That's the big thing with all of the net front presence. Can't see it, can't track it, and it winds up in the back of the net. Minnesota's playing almost like they want a day off here tomorrow, Cheryl. Yeah, I'd say so, and you always look forward to a day off, and this coaching staff has got to be impressed with this team tonight. You know, the ability to get the puck to net, driving the pace of play, and just having really great habits, consistent effort right through the game. Great reach by Heatley. The Coyotes scoop it up along the boards. Quick pass to Heat. but at least they've got something to push with. Yeah, really tough hole to climb out of, but certainly that one goal will give them a little bit of a lift. It's respectable. And some textbook body contact there. Minnesota's going to play it from the corner. How did he stop that one? Minnesota's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. Collins won the draw. Denied by the defender. The Wild have taken to the offensive attack. Collins sliding the puck behind the net. Takes a shot. And he uses the glove to keep that out, getting a piece of it. My goodness, they are really starting to dial up the pressure here now. Steps across the blue line. Takes control of the puck. Loses his balance on the play. And he slides it quickly to Michael. Arizona's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Receives the pass. Slides it diagonally to Champion. Here's a chance. Takes a shot. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. Minnesota's motor has been non-stop tonight. Lots of shots on net, and they lead in the third. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Across the line. Minnesota's got the puck now. And that's a great heads up play. Trying to gain a step. Great a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. And Ross going to play it against the half wall. And a stick breaks that up. Arizona's been terrible tonight, James. There's a lackluster performance in all areas of the game, and now the bench is quiet. They know the effort that they've put in. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. The Flyers are up next on the schedule, and I hear tickets are still available. A few select seats, so get them now. It should be a good one coming up. Nice job tying up his opponent. And it's a quick pass to Niederreiter. Shot! Here's a shot! And he stakes that one with the club. Minnesota's offense has not been a problem tonight. They put a lot of shots on net and lead it big time late in this third period. And gets a little boost to come up with the puck from off the wing with both centers tied up. Moves it to Kerfoot. Here's a shot. And he catches that one with the glove. 
Minnesota's been on a roll offensively tonight. Lots of chances, and they lead it late in this third. And they take possession off the draw here at their own end. The Coyotes have it now. Chance in front! And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. Minnesota's got it in the defensive zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Moving into the attacking zone. Arizona's got the puck in their own end. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Crisp's got the puck and he's going to hang on. Carlin Payne is standing by with who she thought had the better performance. Champions helped his team out by getting in on the scoring. He's had the stronger performance in my opinion, guys. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Scandella. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Boom! Wow, what a thunderous hit there. Uh, that was incredible. Everyone is on their feet. Man, did he get nailed. Clutterbuck's just trying to get back on his feet here. I mean, that was a tough hit right through the body. I'm sure he's still feeling the effects of that one. Minnesota's offense has put on a show tonight, and here they are in blowout mode late in the third. Off the draw, they take possession. Quick feed to Scandella. Rocks him on the play. Cutting to the front of the net. Almost down to the final minute here in this third. Rocks him. Scores! There's traffic, but every single time he's got pinpoint accuracy and delivers right to his teammate's stick. Arizona's got to find a way to continue to attack here now, right, Cheryl? Yeah, and they're going to do that by throwing defensive structure out the window and just pushing forward. You can expect four players to be involved in the attack when they get going north. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. Arizona's got a hold of it along the wall. Steps into the offensive end. Schmaltz has that shot mentality. He's got two goals in the game. You know he's going to take it anytime he gets it. He's looking for the hottie. Minnesota's not far from the finish line here as they lead it late in this third. And they win the draw here in their own end. Sends the pass over. All alone! You gotta love these one-on-one -on -one battles. In particular, the goaltender so aggressive, tracks the puck and makes the save. Teams are ready for the draw. The line's been about to drop the puck. Yeah. Michaels won the face-off here in the offensive zone. Right in front! Scores! And look at that! They answer right back! Well, the game is a hard part of counters, and this is a respond quickly and they find themselves in a favorable spot you get these great a scoring chances nice and tight to the net you got to find a way to convert on it but you have to be aware of where the goaltender is you don't have much time you have to have quick hands but you have to find the back of the net when there's not much room minnesota's coaches have to be pleased with what they've seen tonight no shortage of scoring opportunities and no shortage of goals Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. Trying a nifty move when you have good hands. Sometimes it works, sometimes you get denied, and that's what happened there. Puts it on net, stops him cold. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Michaels won it in their own end. Feeds it on over to Silverberg. Here's a short pass to Champion. Shuts it down with the paddle, what a stop. Toss up the puck after that hit. There's the final horn, and that'll do it here this evening. 
a solid effort tonight, but the problem is the same issue night after night. Just a few minutes of a breakdown, and it winds up costing them. Well, and that's all it takes, right, James? Especially when you're not winning. You, you have to look at it in small little increments, and they have to game manage, and they haven't done that very effectively. And it's wound up costing them numerous games here. They're going to have to find a way to reset and get back on track. Well, a fun night of hockey comes to an end, but guess what, everybody? There's always next time, and we will see you then. For Cheryl Pounder, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for playing.